So many lives were cut short in Lahaina, each with a story to tell. As we mark three months since the tragedy, we want to pause to remember those we lost. Here's Dylan Anchetta. The youngest known fatality was Tony Takafua. He was just seven years old. He was identified on August 24th, and unfortunately, he wasn't the only one from his family killed. He was found alongside his mom, Solote Takafua, and her parents, Fa'aso and Malui Fonua Tone. Their bodies were found in a burned out car near their home. Sadly, there were other children killed in the inferno. Authorities have told us of two other children who died, including 11-year-old Justin Ricolizado and 14-year-old Quiero Fuentes. Both lived in Lahaina. For Fuentes, his family came together on what would have been his 15th birthday. Traffic blocked his adoptive mother from getting to him as the flames raged. At one point, she ran on foot past a police blockade in an attempt to get to him. Two days later, the family finally made it to the devastated home. But when I got to his bedroom, he was there, lying and hugging my dog. But he was not as I expected, in ashes. God maintained him like this, so we knew it was him. The eldest of the known fire victims was 98-year-old Louise Abihai of Lahaina. Her remains were found in the rubble of the senior affordable housing community, Hale Mahaolu Eono. Her grandson Clifford said the FBI identified her through dental records and DNA. Louise was a pillar of their family, having grown up on the Valley Isle, raising multiple generations of children. Strongest person in our family. She was still walking a mile a day. She did uh, everything from folding clothes at hotels, receptionists, bartender, uh, you know, the front desk, you know, she, she did it, she did everything. Other lives lost include a beloved EMT, 43-year-old Tony Simpson, who was off duty when he was killed. A caring father, known for his humor and generosity and career as an electrician, 86-year-old Joseph Lara. Lori Allen tried to make it out of the burn zone on foot by running through a flaming field. She was badly burned and fought for her life for more than seven weeks in an Oahu burn unit. Franklin Trejos, 68, died shielding a friend's golden retriever after trying to save nearby homes. And Alfredo Galindo, 79, also died while trying to save the home he'd worked so hard to build. To the world, the Lahaina disaster is the deadliest wildfire in more than a century. To Hawaii, the fire in Lahaina is a tragedy with little comparison. Together, we mourn each of the lives lost.